All right, on today's episode, we visit the Hoosier Gym, a.k.a. the Knightstown Gym, home of the major motion picture, Hoosiers. Let's go inside. All right, so this lobby was constructed in 1937. 70,000 people have visited this gym on an annual basis before COVID-19 count. And uh, this Hickory licensed merchandise uh, is shipped all over the world. Looks like an old ticket booth from 1936. Well, from 19, original. 1936 original. Look at that. When you walked in, you had to buy a ticket here. I'm sure they still use that for actual games. And then here's plenty of books and publications about basketball in the state of Indiana from the high school and college perspective. This looks like another repurposed room. Maybe this was a coat room at one time. Now it's full of uh, Hickory merchandise, which is probably sold all over the country. All right, we are here at the Knightstown Gym in Indiana. Home of the fictional Hickory High School of the movie Hoosiers. If you're driving by I-70 in between Dayton, Ohio and Indy, this is about a couple miles to three miles south of the interstate. And it is open for you to come in, walk around and take shots like these kids, just as if you are in the movie. Love this. And this was an actual gym that was for the Knightstown School. And it is a huge tourist attraction. And one thing great about this, it's all free. You just walk in and take a look around and enjoy all that Hoosier hysteria. Okay, we're going to walk up these old wooden bleachers. They smell old, they look old, and they feel old. We're gonna just take a look. High schools do come out here and play exhibition games, tournament games. So you can actually still see a game here. Now, the gym was built in 1921. I didn't realize it was that old. And uh, you can actually come in here to use the restrooms and to and to look at some nice uh, Larry Bird jerseys. Wherever you go in Indiana, you're going to see this beautiful Indiana State sky blue jersey that uh, I think I could have bought this about 20 some years ago for 40 bucks, and I said no. What I wouldn't do to have that jersey hanging up. Looks like it's from 1954, but it's actually from 1986. The movie poster and all these reunion and all-star games have been played here since. This is behind the stage in the corridor. If you wanna get yourself a Hickory sweatshirt or t-shirt, yeah, you got plenty right here. And then here's the old victory bell. Uh, that some schools still bring out after they win a game. And here are Hoosier Gym records. Hall of Famer Sam Chase is up there several times, along with Sam Francis. You know, all the boys are lined up on the bleachers there yep. after the game, and the coach says, you boys have the weekend to decide whether you really want to play ball for me or not. That's what right. I say is the law. Unequivocally and without exception. You know why he was upset? Because they told he told him before the game started, I want you boys to pass the ball four times before you, before you take any shot. And he asked them that more than once. He quizzes them. How many times are we going to pass the ball? And they didn't do it. They did what they wanted to. They did what they wanted to. He was mad. So did he pull? And coach says, What are you doing? Well, I'm going to the game, coach. Well, no, you're not. Sit down. So the referee comes over and said, Coach, you need another player. He said, my team's number four. See, there's four he players, but it's five. Yeah. He's trying to teach him a lesson. 
Reminds me of what Bob used to be back in the, the only person in the basement, the tour guide is uh, just kind of reliving some of the scenes in the movie with um, Gene Hackman and Gene Hackman. You used Gene Hackman. Who's that? Gene Hackman and Dennis Hopper. But man, this place smells old. Here are the old showers. I don't know if those are at the movies, but I don't know if you can see this well. Imagine taking a shower in here. That's just the way it was. You know, I don't know if these date back to 1921 or if they were at it at another time, but I feel like I'm in my grandmother's basement here in Wilkes Bear, and you got tons of cool jerseys hanging up all around. Uh, just a really nice place to visit. All right, we're going to walk upstairs, and we are being bombarded by even more high school jerseys, maybe some college or tournament jerseys from around the state, and maybe beyond. And I think we can walk up on the stage, very narrow stage. And here's our view of the gym. It's nice to see some movie set pieces still intact and free to visit. It's not closed, it's not sealed off. You don't get anybody chasing you. It's all here. More movie props from the fictional Hickory Huskers. Oh, there you go. also see this wooden uh, rectangular shaped backboard as well kind of uh, kind of neat and here's the other side of the bleachers go His hickory huskers all the way well i want to thank you for watching this latest episode of the ballpark hunter from the knights town gym aka the hoosiers gym if you are in the indianapolis area or passing through check these guys out you're going to have a great time it doesn't cost anything to go in but they do accept donations. Buy a shirt, you cheap bums. This place is legit. So until next time, stay safe, be warm, happy hunting. Like, subscribe, and comment. We'll see you next time.